guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final two episodes of a Capuchin Sailor uniform. It, it feels so weird to now finally say that we're here because, I mean, I binged this. I binged this in the weirdest way that I could binge this. I mean, I, I like, officially, it's been two weeks, kind of, almost now. Really, even though, like, tech, no, 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 no. Technically, still in a way, it's kind of been two weeks. By the time this Saturday comes, I mean, this Sunday comes up for Mother's Day, it will be two weeks since I've watched the show. And I got it done in under two weeks. And I wasn't really expecting that because, like I said, I had been so <laughs> freaking busy with, like, trying to find days to record this. And I was like, I don't really want to kind of do it bi-weekly because I knew I was not going to always have time. So I said, you know what? I'm going to be stupid and I'm just going to binge it. And honestly, I'm glad that I did. Do I think that I'm going to do this again with another series? Probably not in a while. Like, because <laughs> binging takes, like, a lot of energy out of you. And I think probably that is one of the other reasons why I just didn't feel the greatest on Tuesday night when I was recording episodes three to nine. And then that's when I was like, let me get myself a break, go to sleep, and then, like, wait a couple more days just to finish this but I'm really excited to see how this show truly ends and then any little final thoughts that I have about this show what could also be in store for the future of this series and then you know after that we move on but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 and three two one go Yep, here comes your girlfriend. Are you okay? Erica? You want to play while she dances for you, of course. You can butt in if you want to, Erica. You just have to have the chance. That or your violin.
Of course she did. It is freezing in here. It is Tuesday night all over again. <laughs> and it's worse. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-uh. Nice spike, though. Uh-uh. Is there even enough time to have a training camp with the six of you? And now look, she's made so many fucking friends.
four. It's for a transfer. What's wrong? No. <laughs> yeah, so you have to stay here, babe. Practice what, though? <laughs> oh, I thought they would have hugged or something, you know. Out of the six, only two are wearing knee pads. Oh, oh. yeah, it's gonna hurt. Oh. <laughs>
Oh. That you were able to bring them all here. Was that Hotaru? Did everybody come? Oh. You asked everyone else to come. Yeah, because she's over there playing the piano. Mm-hmm. Ooh, oh my god, the iPod Nano, though. Damn.
beautiful. Don't know why. You kind of gave me Love Life Sunshine vibes right there. Like, mmm. Hella Love Life Sunshine vibes. I hope so. This episode kind of was like the calm before the storm, aka if the storm is the last episode, of course, this is everything leading up to the final episode of this show. But this episode was sweet. Very, very, very sweet. I love the fact that Akebi got to have everyone go to her former school and be in the gym and to make memories of it. It is a little sad to, that we heard from her that once Co graduates from the school that the school will be shut down because okay of course it seems like just with a Kebby, Co is the only child who goes to this school so after Co graduates no one else will be going to the school so it makes the most sense to immediately shut it down which is very similar to some other schools that I've seen around here or any other schools that I've seen in anime Love Life Sunshine you're one of them um where yeah unfortunately a school shuts down due to so many different things but you have those memories um about them and they'll always be in your heart even if they decide to tear down the school and build something else you'll always remember that that school was there your memories of that school the good days the bad days and everything in between but I, like i said i love the fact that we got to see everybody play volleyball together. Erica practicing piano for Kevy, of course, because that's what girl, good girlfriends do. Because once again, they are girlfriends. You cannot tell me otherwise. They have been girlfriends ever since episode one when these two saw each other for, for the first time. But then, you know, when we got that Erica-centric episode between episode six and seven, that was when they was like, yeah, you know... We're officially girlfriends. And so when a Kevy took that picture of her with the fish, that's when, you know, Kevy was like, I'm going to make this my lock screen. I'm going to look at my girlfriend every single day. Like, of course you are, baby. But I think, you know, going into this last episode, especially with now we're going into um, the athletic festival, I hope they do good. I really, really hope that. I, I really cannot wait to see the look on a Kevy's face on when... <laughs> Erica plays um what's her face's song and how she's probably gonna maybe fangirl but not fangirl too too much there, there's so many unanswered questions that I want to know how in the world this last show is going this last show this last episode is gonna go how is it gonna end is it going to be ending abruptly with like us having the camera pan up into the sky and then bam that's how we end the show or are we going to have a nice little shot or maybe like a couple of years older when Ko is finally of age to go to middle school or even high school and she is wearing a similar uniform similar to a Kevies and stuff. There's a lot of things and a lot of ways of how they could end this last episode. But of course we have to wait and see in like one second. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode of this series. All right. Final episode in three, two, one, go. What well, damn we we don't even get to see anything? Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Did you do good today, though? Oh, 
look at the friendship bracelet she's wearing. And everybody's wearing one, aren't they? You nervous? Yeah, you got this. Pretty in her dress. You're welcome. It's all worth it, right? Once again, gotta make your girlfriend happy.
Ooh, nice. <laughs> Precious baby. Nice pass. Damn, she is booking it.
Why am I about to cry? That was fucking beautiful. I know we ain't done yet, but that is so beautiful. That was a good ass spike. Oh, oh, oh. That was beautiful. Oh my god. Yep, let's just go ahead and end the episode right now. Oh god. There's no words. No fucking words. That was just beautiful. fucking girlfriends I can't
Girl, there would never be a class like one three. Oh my god. Well, it's at 6 a.m. Her messy bed head. <laughs> Of course she'd be there. Isn't it funny? We would start with these two and we end with these two. See, that's a good way to end a show. You ended the exact way you started at the freaking episode for the damn series. Honestly, this was really good. Very kind of underrated in a way. Um, but good. Really, really good. I felt like this was the show that a lot of people, when this was airing, really resonated within. 
and that they could see themselves within these characters. I mean, we, I think a lot of us had seen that in a lot of different shows and stuff in any anime that we've seen. But I think this was one of those ones where a lot of people felt very emotional every single week with these group of girls and learning about them and loving them more and more in every single week. And even with the fact that I binged the hell out of this show and didn't really probably get that same connection as everyone else did when I was wa when they were watching it week after week, I still think I felt something with some of these girls. This cast of characters were very different from like typical animes that I've seen, but still similar to some animes and I really enjoyed them a lot. I thought Akebi was a very interesting, oh, that's so pretty, um, protagonist. And really, there will probably be no other character like her. Maybe somewhat similar to her, but not really like a one-to-one -one because there will never be like an Akebi 2. Maybe a Ko, but you know, if they ever decided to do like a spinoff on her, which I would like to see. And, and like I said, I do love the fact that they literally ended it the way it began. Them opening, someone opening the door and meeting her and smiling and then boom, that's how we end the show. That is how you end something that is really good. It, it was a very interesting masterpiece. Yeah, I felt like, you know, we possibly should have gotten episodes of certain characters. Like, Hotaru was one of the ones that I can really name of because it felt like almost everybody got, like, an episode focus on themselves. Hotaru got like little bits and pieces here, but not like a um, 15 minute episode, like focusing on her and having a point to like have um, an inner monologue on her. But I do like the fact that, you know, we got to hear something about her on this, like in any sort of episode. But yeah, this was a really interesting show. I am happy that I finally watched this. Um, because like I said, going into how I felt in episode one at the beginning of it, where I was very skeptical because of the one scene and how so many people were like, yes, queen, 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 watch this show. Please watch this show. It's so good. And I kept saying to myself like, yeah, no, like, because I knew about that scene and taking it out of context, I was like, there's no way in hell I'm watching this show. But I was like, you know what? Let me take a chance on it. And sometimes you have to take chances on shows um, that you probably don't really have the greatest feelings about when you're seeing an out of context for it. And you're like, bro, what the fuck is this? And then you're like, okay, this ain't that bad. And really, and it wasn't. I really loved seeing these girls and their stories and, you know, whether it's a backstories or like what they want to do in the future, um, for the rest of their careers and such when they get into college and they're, you know, they go into adulthood and stuff. I thought that was really sweet. And you feel for these girls like way too much. Like, I mean, yeah, you made me tear up in this episode, but we didn't have an episode where like I, when I finished, I cried. Remember, mind you on Tuesday, I finished this at like two in the morning, two, three in the morning and I had a headache. But you, like, seriously, this show made me feel something a lot. And I, I will genuinely miss this. Even, like I said, I binge the hell out of this. But, like I said, will I ever do this again, trying to binge something and get it done quickly, done in, like, a couple of weeks? Probably not in a while. I think the next time that I'll probably, whatever someone asks me to, like, request as a reaction, which there is one other show that is currently airing this season, um that airs on Fridays and a lot of people do want me to watch it. And originally it was going to be on my list to watch, but because I was like, I can't have so many things on Friday because there are some Fridays that I do work and there are some Fridays that I don't work and I don't want to always play catch up. It's a little bit harder when you are working from the afternoon to the evening shift. You have to hurry up and come home download the episodes and trying to get the episodes out or really the video reactions out before the day is over. And so that's why I always say to you guys, like, please be patient. Don't be upset with me. If something comes out either later on into the middle of the night or even the next day, because of the fact is I do come home late and sometimes I am 
tired deadbeat and I may say I'm gonna go take a nap and you know have only this much amount of time to hurry up get the video out before I actually have to go to bed and then do the exact same thing over and over again but this is also why my lovely mother tells me oh you should get up earlier in the side in the third but yeah I really enjoyed this and I will miss this show a lot I, I would like to see if they ever wanted to do a season two on this but it makes me wonder like if there was a season two what else would you do for it um, if they couldn't do a season two, I would maybe possibly like to see either a movie or an OVA for this show. Kind of give it, like, a conclusive ending for it to kind of wrap up the series entirely with these characters. Because I feel like a lot of people really enjoyed this show a lot. And I think when this show did officially end, like, it, it left people wanting more. So I think people, just like with, um my dress up darling and how that ended and people were running to freaking Barnes and Nobles and Target and Amazon and Walmart, wherever like any of the manga is sold. I think people were like that with this and trying to see what was next in Akebi's, you know, future for her. And so maybe one day that might happen for you guys and for me as well. So here's hoping fingers crossed. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of a Kevin Chan Stay the Uniform. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next time for whatever the heck I will probably be watching next. Because as of right now, I have no clue if I'm going to watch the show that comes out Friday. I might end up waiting until the show is completely done, just like with this. And taking my time on watching it because like I said the people who have also been requesting this show they have been very very similar to the people who asked me to watch this show very like queen I want you to watch this this is the type of show you should watch Deja I need you to watch this you like shows like this and I, and I love when you guys do that I love it so much like it, it's gotten to the point where like I feel like some of you are gonna like literally come on my Twitter and you're just gonna be like hey 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 like I know you tweeting about random ish but can you watch this <laughs> or normally not like it's either that or like some of you guys and it's so funny like I, and it's like a love ish kind of relationship with this where it's like whatever is the series that like doesn't do the greatest on my channel or gets like the least amount of views so let's say like pretty here because depending on like when I post it like ish 50 out of 50 I will always see a comment saying like can you watch this <laughs> so it's a maybe on that show we will see and then you know maybe when the show gets to a halfway point which will be next week when it's at episode six because we we're about to go on week six for shows but until then once again I will see you guys all next time Bye.